Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, that you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, what you put in my heart to speak. Lord, I pray they be your words, not my words, not my words. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I was called. I was called. I was called by God to be a watchman. And I really didn't want the job. I really didn't want it. I tried to tell God no. And I tried to do it politely. I tried to tell him, no thank you Lord, I, I just can't do it. But God would not accept my, my no answer. And God, God made me an offer that I could not refuse. He opened my eyes. Like I said, I had a very, very hard calling. And I, I was humbled. I was humbled to the floor. And I was screaming in pain. God got my attention. Now after that I... I told the Lord, send me Lord. Send me Lord. I wish I had good news. I wish I could be one of those prosperity gospel preachers and just tell you everything is just all perfect and just just trust in the Lord and everything will be perfect and, and you'll be rich and everything will be just fine but I would be lying a great a great shaking is coming to America unlike anything that has ever happened to America a great, great shaking is coming. And it will shake every single American to their very knees, to the very ground. God is about to humble America. God's going to destroy our economy, our money. He's going to take away all of our distractions. It's going to take away our power. We went for three days here without power in the heat and it was just absolutely insane. I had a generator. I was able to hook my generator up to my air conditioner so we at least had air conditioning and I, I have a 12 volt solar system that I could power lights and that kind of thing but But for most Americans, they don't have that kind of thing. It's coming. It's coming. I have warned. I have warned and I have warned. What's coming to America? There's a short little video clip at the end of this video shows you what I saw for the future of America. About the only difference was what I saw in, in the video. In the video that's, that you'll see at the end of this video. If you look closely, closely you'll see a man walking down a street among wrecked cars. They're basically burning. But in my dream there was no man. And there was fire, death, and destruction everywhere, everywhere. That's what I saw for America. <coughs> and I'm not going to sit here and tell you that 
if you buy a bunch of guns and ammo and food and storable food and water and water filters and buy med medical supplies, you, you buy all this stuff, you're going to be fine because you won't. The only people that's going to come out of this are the people that are saved, sanctified, washed in the blood, born again that put their trust, their full trust in Jesus. Because the people that go to these iffy churches, these wishy-washy churches, these churches that are apostate, they will quickly realize that they were lied to. And they will start seeking the true God, the God of Israel. And they will cry out to that God. Most people will. Some people won't. God will hear their cries. God loves his children here today every bit as much as he loved his children in the desert. And he fed his children in the desert manna from heaven for 40 years. That's what's coming. We're going to have to put our full faith and trust in God because there won't be doctors, there won't be hospitals, there won't be there won't be the government that will come to the rescue. There won't be anything. Because everything is about to be taken away. Everything. Everything. And if you're in the will and grace, if you're washed again, born born again, washed in the blood, if, if, you're, if you're a true faithful believer, then you have nothing to fear. You have nothing to fear. Because God will take care of his children today like he took care of his children in the desert. So, so please, please, get right with God. Because it's coming. It's coming. It's coming soon. Every single day that we have now, that's a normal day, it's a blessing from God. And you need to use that day to get right with God. To get right with God. Now is the time. Now is the time for sackcloth and ashes to be fasting, to be in prayer, to repent, and to get right with God. Repent of our sins. Beg and plead Jesus to enter our heart and give us a new heart. And walk with us and be with us. Invite the Holy Spirit to move on you. To give you dreams and visions. To be with you, to lead you and guide you every step of the way. Because what's coming is going to be bad. It's going to be bad. We, we, the American people, we have been sold out. We have been sold out. So I beg you, I beg you to get right with God. Because our time is short. Our time is very short. God bless you, and God keep you, each and every one is our prayer, in his loving arms, just like he held me, just like he held me, and my, all that I do, all that I do, is so that I can get back in those loving arms again, back where I belong, and back where you belong as well, because we all belong in those loving arms. We all belong in his loving arms. And I can tell you, I guarantee you, there is absolutely nothing like it. The peace, the joy, the love, indescribable love. Love beyond any description. Love beyond imagination. Love beyond anything you've ever known before. That's what it is with Jesus. But judgment comes. I had a dream five weeks ago. I posted that dream. I called it 20 marbles and two months. Well, we've only got about three more weeks of that two month warning. I don't know what's coming. 
I would say that it's not the rapture because it still doesn't it still doesn't pinpoint a day. It doesn't give an hour, it doesn't give a day. But I think it's a warning is that something big is coming. And we need to start preparing now with Jesus. With Jesus. Humble yourselves and get right with God. There's nothing else gonna save you. Nothing else. Nothing else can save you. Nothing else can save me. Only Jesus can save us now. I call this our Titanic moment. Because my dream when I was on the Titanic and I was at the back or the rail of the ship, I saw people lined up against that rail and they were they were each and every one of them they was praying powerful, powerful prayers, mighty prayers. They were pouring their hearts out to God, but not a one of them, not one of them was praying that God saved their lives. Every single one of them was praying God saved their souls. That's what we need to be praying now. That's what we need to be praying now. God bless you and God keep every one of you. Every one of you have been a blessing to, to us and we love you so very much. We love you so very much. These are the last days, and we are that last generation. So we keep all of you in our prayers. God bless you. God keep you. This is our prayer. Amen.